Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting and I'm coming today to continue in that the 100 days project uh, challenge. I had to take a few days off just because uh, I didn't realize how much work it will take to make, uh, you know, everyday video. And I had lots of things to sort out in my life. And uh, of course, I had to finish my book for my Patreons, my personal uh, diary and not diary more like a documentation book for my life changes it was very important for me to to complete this book which we just did and i'm so happy about that because now i can start to document my life changes and kind of the make sure that steps i'm doing i do remember or if they will don't work uh, i will have it here and I will know later what I should change and how I should change it. So I had to finish this book. This was very important for me. And it did took a lot of time. But I'm back. Uh, I am about to, <laughs> to put together videos. I took about this basket I made from newspapers. But it's a little bit chaotic. So please bear with me. It will come in someday when I will somehow put it together. It was just trying, so video will be more sharing of the steps I made than proper tutorial because I didn't know what I'm doing. But today I'm coming to share with you these cuties. They are very easy to make. They do have pockets and they do have uh, scraps of your book pages. I had to make kind of like template as a base for this. Uh, I'm gonna be using envelopes and from old toilet paper rolls I made for myself a base in the size of these little cute notepads just to make sure I will have easy way to fold all my envelopes to the right size. So I cut it old uh, toilet paper rolls uh, to the pieces three by four inches. Then I glued them together to some thickness, I think about uh, one eighth of inch. And that was my template. This is my template, which I'm gonna be using after I do have uh, collages on my envelopes. I'm using DL envelopes. And first what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna glue uh, papers on my envelope and then it is just about enjoying to making these layers and enjoying that craft and I'm using again newspapers as my base I will add here and there some tea dyed papers any kind of scraps I have around I can add it here you know to, to make them useful and I do have lots of scraps and I would like to keep that window, so I will try to put papers around. So any scraps like this, if you have some drawer where you are putting these off cuts and piece of book pages, tea dyed paper, you know, any kind of small scraps, even decorative strips like this, they can be very useful for creating this mini notepad. So grab them and use them for your collage. I'm gonna create few collages. And here is my few basic covered envelopes. Uh, here there is mostly uh, newspapers and few those strips paper strips here i do have only those paper strips and newspapers and look how beautiful the envelopes looks like to be covered with newspapers i do have also few covered from both sides and then few covered just from one side and they are these with washi tapes so now uh, to create those little match book, match box uh, notepads. Uh, I'm gonna cut them on the three inches in the width. I'm gonna cut cut off flap of the envelope and this probably some piece of this entry to make this one three inches. 
I'm going to take my guillotine because it's fast and easy. You can take a ruler if you don't have guillotine or paper trimmer. Take a ruler and cutting knife and cut your envelopes. I'm keeping the pocket, that rest I'm cutting off. I can use it for creating tags. Three. So now I'm going to take my envelopes and the side where there is the window will be the flap, uh, will, yeah, will be lit or top cover of my little notepad. So I'm going to first fold around my template for this notepad at the bottom. Place the template straight on the edges. I'm going to grab my bone folder. Burnish these sides. And take this and fold it over. And again with my bone folder. I'm going to burnish these sides. I can cut off any unglued decorations. Or I can put there even more glue and glue it down. And here. Yeah, I'm going to glue it. I do have the base folded. I can also take my sewing machine and now sew because here I want to have pocket and I would like to have pocket also here. So I'm going to be sewing this around and also this around. And here this last rectangle I'm going to make sewing all around. I made my stitching and um, I mean stitching sewing around and I folded already a few of them so now I'm gonna fold these two I tried to make stitching where there should be fold not always straight I, I have to say but I tried so I do have stitching done I'm gonna fold these And now I should prepare some papers inside and then you can put anything you want. You can put that uh, linen papers, not linen papers, clear papers, I mean graph papers. Or you can do this as your little templates or uh, book pages, scrapbook or scrap note notepad. So I think I'm going to do it like book pages, scrap, uh, match box, match boxes. I do have so many book pages in different uh, styles, in with different uh, styles of fonts. Like this pile, it's not even one percent, I guess, what I've got all around. So I'm going to make my little uh, book pages notepads. I do have my... Uh, book pages sorted in a little uh, notepads so then it's just very easy this is flap this is the bottom so I just slide the paper in there and I'm using stapler to put these papers together just tape it in the middle kind of close to that fold and that's done my sample mini notepad, my book mini notepad is done, and I do have somewhere. Oh, here I do have, I do have pocket here, and also pocket here, and I now can decorate it. I'm gonna take uh, some of these uh, embellishments I have created from newspapers. I already made first 
kind of like scan off all kind of these little notes and cut out. They are on my Patreon for free. A link will be in the description box. If you are interested to have these bits and pieces, just click on that link. It will transfer you to public post, which is uh, open for free. And you can download these bits and pieces. It's just one sheet. But there is a lot. There is this amount. <laughs> So, if you are uh, interested to have a little bit of English newspapers, it is there. And I'm going to take some of these and maybe maybe some frame and decorate it. And now this one. And maybe place it right here. This is also from English newspapers. It's actually from football section. That was from the past. And I, because I love that, so I did plastic it out. Oh, maybe some number. Yeah, right here. And I would love, love to have maybe some sticker here, but I'm not ready to put there anything because I forgot to bring something. So I'm going to keep it simple like this. Now I can add some picture in that window and show you my another mini notepads. And these are my lovely little mini match book, book pages <laughs> samples. <laughs> I have no idea how I should call this one, but I really love them. They do have pocket here and they do have also a pocket in a back cover. So I can store there something as well. I already put here a picture which I can change. Look at that. Look how beautiful it looks like with the picture. Without picture, it's kind of plain, right? But once you will put there some beautiful picture, it just go alive and you have there your samples of book pages so anytime you want to create some uh, cluster or decorate a book, book uh, journal page with book page you can go to your mini match book match box book page pad <laughs> you can choose one and use it for decoration I really love how it looks uh, like with the, the photo inside and I still have space here in that back cover. These are with washi tapes so you can use washi tapes with newspapers and decorate with washi tapes and newspapers your envelope. And here I made it just like striped paper and I really love that look and here very plain and I forgot oh no I didn't forget I placed that this picture and I still need to put some label here and that's my a little that's my a little matchbox notepads very easy to do, great decoration in your journals and lots of fun, I have to say. So this is my sharing for today. I hope you did enjoy it. I hope you found some inspiration that these matchbox notepads can have also pockets. Very easy way. Thank you so much for jumping in today. Thank you so much for spending with me another time with this 100 days challenge. 
I hope you enjoyed. Have a wonderful time. Take care of yourself and I will see you soon. Bye.